This is a bit of a different approach that we're trying with the CIM, with a virtual CIM president welcome. I hope you enjoy it. It's uh, It's been uh, quite an interesting year in a lot of challenges with this health crisis. Indeed, our conference in Vancouver this year was canceled. And as a result, like many businesses, the CIM is adapting and pivoting to make other ways to provide value to our members. I want to thank you all for continuing to be members and supporting the CIM in this endeavor. We are going to be successful. I know we are. Uh, we have some tremendous leaders and we're working with all of you uh, to help to make this possible. We have um, some virtual content that's coming out, some webinars, some virtual conferences, some virtual workshops. And we've just launched the CIM Academy. This is a, a portal for all of our members to be able to access content from experts in their field and where you can continue to learn and develop in your professional career. I hope you check it out and take advantage of it. It's truly an honor for me to be here as the president. I want to thank Michael Winship for nominating me and for the Executive Council for your overwhelming support. Thank you for that. And Really looking forward to working with the leaders in the industry, in particular with the CEO of the CIM, Angela Hamlin, and her incredible staff in the national office, and with all our societies and committees and branches, and with all of you, the members across Canada. CIM has a global reach as well. We are part of the Global Mineral Professional Alliance, and I'm very proud of CIM and taking a leadership role in this organization with the Global Action on Tailings, which is incredibly relevant to our mining industry. We also are taking a global presence and a safety conference um, with the CIM as well. Very, very proud of our role there. It's a, it's a bit of an exhilarating yet daunting role for me to be in this position. Uh, it is our 122nd year of existence at the CIM, so a lot of a lot of history. Um, we have been around almost as long as Canada has been a nation. So <laughs> that says a lot about the CIM and our our resilience and our commitment to this organization and in providing technical excellence and celebrating excellence. I have been a CIMer for a long time. <laughs> I have been a member since my undergraduate years at the University of Toronto. And I started to get involved in the executive of the CIM with the, the Sudbury branch. And I have never looked back. I have always used CIM as my touchstone, as my extended family, if you like. The place where I go to meet uh, people in my industry and share ideas and continue to celebrate our successes, in particular, our safety work. I have um, quite a long history, a career, and uh, I'm happy to bring that experience to the table. So I've, I've worked in gold and potash, but primarily in base metals for most of my career. And I've worked in different jurisdictions, particularly in Canada, but also Brazil, Indonesia, and New Caledonia. I have worn a number of different hats in those roles. I have been in R&D, I've worked in technical services, I've worked in operations, I've worked in projects, I have worked in governance, and I have also uh, worked in consulting. And so I, I bring a number of different perspectives to the table and I will, I will be wearing those different hats as the CIM president. I've also had the good fortune to work with many of you who are in different roles as well. Some of you are in the supply service sector, there are OEMs, I have worked with um, advocacy groups, I've worked with government, academia, um, and other major mining companies and juniors. And so I you know, bring, really bring a, a bit of a rounded uh, experience to the table and really um, am very excited to see our ecosystem continue to thrive. I have um, really got three mandates that I am bringing to the, my role this year uh, that I'm going to be very much um, putting my effort and, and attention to. And the first is around technical excellence. This is around continuing to create and curate leading edge knowledge. There are so many emerging technologies coming out that the mining industry needs to take advantage of. And this is where CIM shines, where we are creating the industry best practices and guidelines. So this is going to be a, a big area where we need to continue to grow. 
The second is around attracting and fostering the next generation of miners, metallurgists, and leaders for our organizations. And I'm very much um, committed to working with the Diversity and Inclusion Committee and with all of you in helping, helping us to attract that next generation, very different thought leaders than what we've had in the past. Um, that is my, my second focus. And this also includes outreach to our Indigenous communities and the communities where we operate. The third area of focus for me is one I'm very passionate about as well. It is how we continue to share and educate society about the essential contributions that mining makes. And this is, um, for me, so important for us as an industry, particularly as we are trying to fight climate change and pandemics and so many other challenges around the world where mining comes in and provides so many solutions. Uh, we have um, some very interesting projects under the way that address all three areas and I, I hope to see all of you uh, continue to participate and help us to, to bring us to the next stage from the CIM's perspective. We're all obviously uh, going through a pandemic, a health crisis. It's been very challenging. It's the new face of mining as far as I'm concerned. We are continuing to adapt and as an industry provide industry best practices on how do you mine during a pandemic. Uh, this is another area where the CIM is, is contributing and helping to, to create those best practice guidelines. Uh, I am um, very much encouraging you to continue to stay involved with the CIM, to continue to support one another, uh, to continue to learn and grow as, as part of what we call a philosophy, the one CIM. It is um, an amazing organization. It is a strong foundation for all of us to continue to grow and contribute and celebrate excellence with one another and really to help us get through challenging times such as this one and come out stronger. I'll just close by saying uh, thank you again for allowing me this privilege to be the CIM president and, um, and to let you all know that I, I am truly honored and committed to this position. Thank you.